Hey y'all, welcome to, welcome back to the artsy studio. All right, so look at this. <laughs> My embroidery hoop, base, I, I don't even know. So actually we can look at our new embroidery hoops, but like, is there something missing here? Because um, when I go to like tighten this, it won't tighten anymore. So um, that was fun to discover yesterday. Like it had, it was fine with all of the embroidered things that we did with the hats. And then I went to do a test yesterday, which I will show you in a second, and it wouldn't tighten anymore. It was like all of a sudden decided it was done. I, I guess I put it through too much. So yeah, I wanted to still continue. I bought some new hoops, but I wanted to still continue doing my test. So I just wrapped a rubber band around it and it worked because I was only doing it on the shirt because we're doing all tests on the shirt from now on. We're not going to forget that. We're not going to zombie like that ever again. I have redrawn <laughs> the flower design again. Um, actually, two more times. So here was, here was V3. Super cute. I really like it. But it kind of was too small. I still kind of can't see the faces. Like I can tell there's something going on there, but like, I don't know, I don't know. But also it was just like really, really tiny. So I made it bigger. I was like, maybe that's the only problem here. So <laughs> I made it bigger. And here's what it looks like, a lot better. I, I do, I really do like it. And I can tell now, like this version, finally, I can tell that they, are like skulls in there but I was like there's still something so I decided to take out this whole part and that's where we are now we are about to set up our test shirt but I wanted to open up these new hoops that I just got they got delivered like so incredibly fast I'm actually really shocked they are these ones and I'll link them down below just in case you know, you guys have a brother, um, brother, a brother, um, embroidery machine as well, like I do. Who are you? Nice. Look at all of these. We've got three. We've got like this really big one, which is super cool. And then basically exactly the one that I just had. And then a wool baby one, a wool baby circle one. I've only ever had one. So this is kind of cool to have more sizes. It's not missing a part. It just looks like that in there. I thought like that there was supposed to be some kind of like screw thing in there. And that's why when I tightened it, it wasn't tightening. But no, it just, I think maybe like the threads on the inside like got stripped over time. Y'all, what is this? What is this thing? Am I supposed to know what this is? Oh! Is it some kind of reusable zip tie? To like hold them together? So I can hang them somewhere? Yeah, right? Or am I just... That's what this is, right? That's actually so cool. Am I wrong here? <laughs> Even if I am, this is what I'm gonna be using it for. Okay, let us begin. All right, so that first test, um, it went well besides the fact that <laughs> the it got de-threaded, which I just re-threaded it and then continued it because it was still just on the test shirt anyway, and I wanted to see if it was gonna look good or whatever, you know? So this is how it turned out. There's like a couple of missing sections here and here. Um, and that is where the missing thread issue happened. So other than that, I think that it looks really good. So that is what you're hearing back there is I have started it 
on a hat. But I also wanted to get started on a little bit more tufting um, because I feel like the entire last video was embroidery. Um, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to do some tufting. And I want to get started on the cherry rug. Why is my voice cracking so much lately? <laughs> cherry. We're going to get started on the cherry rug. <laughs> and I was picking out some colors. And try and tell me that these colors don't look adorable together. Yeah, this is quite like pink it's so like neon and fun and that's kind of what I want I'll put a picture up here of or not a picture of what my drawing looks like just to remind you what the colors are supposed to look like so the cherries are a bit more red in my drawing but I do kind of want this to be you know like a neon not neon but like an over exaggerated with colors um, sort of rug. I really want it to like, you know, be kind of like eye candy. I don't want it to be like muted colors or anything besides, I guess this is quite muted, but so this is going to be for the darker parts of the green leaves like right here. This lighter green is going to be the lighter parts of the leaves and then like the rest of the stem as well. But we are going to be going back to regular size tufting machine. After using the long pile <laughs> for a little bit, like doing the flowers, this feels tiny. And I also am going to test and see. Somebody commented and said, do you even know if your neighbor can hear the tufting or are you overthinking it? Um, and I was like, sorry, my, not, that wasn't my reaction. <laughs> I feel like my sewing machine is making little clunky sounds, but every time I stop talking to hear it, it stops. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, somebody, whatever. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to like get ahead of a problem before, you know what I mean? What's that phrase? Cut the head off the snake, which, that's a horrible phrase. Is that even the phrase I'm looking for? Jump the gun, maybe? Anyway, so maybe we'll go for it because also I put out a poll um, on YouTube, my community tab. In, in the community tab, I put up a poll asking which like time should I start the stream at? And I know I talk about this so much and we're so sick of it at this point. Um, but this is officially, these are the two times that I would start at. I've overthought this as well like a bazillion times. I would either start at 3 p.m. Eastern, which I also put like what it is in the UK and um, Pacific and whatever, or I would start at maybe 11 a.m. here, p uh, Eastern. It seems like a few people are voting for that one so far, but it's mostly the 3 p.m. Eastern one. So I think we're gonna have to find out one way or another if, if it's super loud. I do still wanna get those like foam panels to put on the ceiling. I'm gonna go roll this and you, can go to the community tab and vote if you would still like to or if you haven't already which time you could possibly make it to a stream. My big thing is that like because I know that I'm overthinking it and uh, I know I just need to start and see how it goes and kind of tweak things along the way um, but my main thing is like what if nobody is in there? What if I pick a time where nobody is in there? That's my biggest fear at this point. That's my biggest fear. Okay, I'm gonna go roll the yarn and then we'll get started on the tough day. What makes it a little louder is the frame. It's helping that there's like foam under it. So if it were not, there were no foam under it and it was just like kind of hitting the hard floor, I think this would be a lot louder. It's definitely not the quietest thing in the world. <laughs> so I'm tufting. And when I tuft, obviously it shakes. <laughs> it shakes the frame. So let me try to give you my view of what just happened. So, you know, I'm just looking at what I'm doing and something caught my eye because I had to re-thread. So something caught my eye and I look up. 
Look at who's threatening me up there. <laughs> like, I'm gonna come down on your head if you don't put me away. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I I took some of y'all's suggestions from the comments of the post, the, the video I posted yesterday, which for you was the most recent video. Anyway, I'm going to show you, oh man, I'm so excited about these. So I did two brown ones. It's hard to like see because they're still wet, but I did one of the flower skull ones with like pink thread, which I think is so freaking cute and then the other brown one I did was with this like this like champagne-y oh my god color it's so beautiful and obviously I did the cloud design this design is so so beautiful it's so cute this color combo is like by far one maybe not by super far because I really loved the gray and that like purpley pink but I think I'm gonna have to do a few of these also check out this thing that I found um on Amazon I obviously when I have to like wash off the stabilizer the, the hat gets like soaking wet um and I wasn't I didn't really know what to do with it anyway so I found this thing and it basically is like this velcro this part like velcros um, to, it's supposed to velcro to a hanger, but I hung it up here because I think that that's like perfect and almost, this whole like coat rack thing is like meant to be for my studio. It just is so perfect. Um, so I velcroed it to that and I, I need to get another one, um, to put over there, but then you can like clip all of your hats to this. I just think this thing is so freaking cool. So now they can dry peacefully. I will link um, those down in the description as well. Oh yeah, we never really talked about it. Uh, one of my most recent videos, I was like, oh we're gonna try, or I was gonna try, I forget what they call it, like uh, linking products from like that you're using in a video and it like will have a little pop-up on the video. Um, so when you're on, you know, your computer or your laptop or whatever, for me, that's what I checked first, and it was just like this little rectangle on the bottom left, which I didn't feel like was super annoying at all, and you can also use like the three dots to dismiss it. But on mobile, it is still like on the bottom, but it's it kind of like takes up a chunk of the video and it just kind of like pops up. I don't know, like it's not my favorite thing. It's definitely not my favorite thing. I was hoping it was gonna like have some kind of like, I don't not pop up, but like a link right under it or something like under the video. I don't know or like the little you know how some you can like do the little eye and it'll have more stuff anyway I don't know I thought it was gonna be less I don't know I don't know if I like it so anyway I think I just want to get better at linking things <laughs> down in the description of every video I have like my general links like to my Amazon or whatever or like certain categories in my Amazon but I feel like it's just easier like if you see something in a video and you're curious about it It'd be nice if like the direct link to it was there and you didn't have to like dig through the categories and stuff. So I think I just need to get better at that. All right, moving on to look at these little cherries. 
look at them. I decided to do the highlights. Instead of white, I'm doing like a really, really, really light pink. Super adorable. I'm so excited to fill in the pink part, but I also want to mix in some more carving of these flowers. I don't know, I'm trying to do a few of each thing. <laughs> That's not always my style, but I'm, I, I'm enjoying it right now, so I'm going to continue it. But that does mean that I have to move my frame a little bit, but since it's on this like pink uh, foam thing, it's so much easier because I can literally just drag the foam thing around like that. Whereas before, I would have to, to move my frame, I would have to take the cinder blocks off. I can't get over these pink like foam things. I originally got them at Five Below, but I think I'm gonna try to find them um, on Amazon so that I can get more of them. You know what I was also thinking? What if I took one of these things, you know, one of the squares, and traced it onto the frame and tufted one. What if I tufted a whole bunch of these that kind of like click together and it could turn into a rug, like different colored pieces. I was thinking that that might also help with the sound in here. Okay, behind the frame, it's spooky. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just filmed an entire outro with the mic off. Good stuff. Um, I'm just going to recap really quick what I said. There is a poll that I mentioned earlier <laughs> in this video on my YouTube channel in the community tab. It is asking about different times that I could start the stream. One of them that seems to be winning is 3 p.m. Eastern, which is also 12 p.m. Pacific, which is also 6 a.m. Australia, which is also 7 p.m. UK. The other option is 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Australia. I'm so sorry, Australia. Um, and 3 p.m. UK. But it does look like it's it's 78% to 22%. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to start stream around 3 p.m. But you can still vote if you want to. You can go to my community tab on the YouTube channel and vote. Oh, also there were there was a question about is there a way to watch after the fact? And I think I'm going to do my best to possibly, I don't know, possibly upload the videos like the VODs from after the stream is done. Um, to my YouTube channel, although they will be like two-hour videos, but I suppose you could like jump around if you want. I love streams that are super long because I like leaving them on and like kind of doing my own thing, so it could be something like that. Yeah, uh, I don't know what what like the background of Twitch streaming looks like and if I'll have access to like VODs. The VODs are like the full stream could live or will live <laughs> on my Twitch channel. I just don't know if I'll have access to that right away or if I have to like be partnered to have access to that. Um, so I'm gonna do my best. I don't know that I'll be able to upload the first few ones because those are the ones where I'm kinda finally be able to see what it looks like and like figure things out. So I may not be able to upload the very first ones to my YouTube channel, but if I can, I will try to do my best to do that. This is an entire outro. I'm gonna end this video here. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. It really helps out my channel. You can follow me in all, <laughs> I feel so dumb. You can follow me in all of these places. It is usually at Artsy Mad Woman besides Twitch and Tumblr, which is the Artsy Mad Woman. I love y'all to absolute death, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>